Healthy Living for today's show, A Cure for Diabetes Through Veganism, in-depth with Drs. Neil Bernard and Gabriel Cousins. Diabetes is one of the most prevalent health challenges of our time. It has evolved to pandemic proportions, growing most rapidly in developing economies such as India and China, and among poor and minority groups in developed nations. In this two-part series, we will explore the diets employed by two medical doctors, Neil Bernard, MD, and Gabriel Cousins, MD, whose patients have successfully controlled, reversed, and cured diabetes by following their advice. Dr. Neil Bernard is a physician and clinical researcher who recently completed a study on the effects of the vegan diet, which is an animal-free diet on controlling and reversing type 2 diabetes. The study, which is documented in his book, Dr. Neil Bernard's Program for Reversing Diabetes, was funded by the U.S. National Institute of Health and conducted by George Washington University and the University of Toronto in Canada. Dr. Bernard is also the director of the Physicians Committee for Responsible Medicine. Our research shows several benefits of a vegan diet for people with diabetes. Number one, you lose weight. And you lose about a pound per week and add that up. 52 weeks per year, you're talking serious weight loss. Cholesterol levels fall and blood sugars fall. The need for medication drops. Many people get off their medications completely. And blood pressure comes down as well. So that sack of pills you've been taking for your cholesterol, your blood pressure, your diabetes, a lot of those you'll probably be able to throw away. Dr. Gabriel Cousins is a medical doctor, a diplomat for the American Board of Holistic Medicine, and founder of the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center in Patagonia, Arizona. Dr. Cousins is an expert in the holistic application of raw vegan nutrition, supplements, and lifestyle changes to cure diabetes, overcome addictions, and many other health challenges. He has been working with diabetics in his private practice and has detailed his findings in his recently released book, There is a Cure for Diabetes. Dr. Cousins had invited six diabetics eating the standard American diet to the Tree of Life Rejuvenation Center to demonstrate the rejuvenating power of curing diabetes with a raw vegan diet. His patient's journey was documented in a newly released movie titled Simply Raw, Reversing Diabetes in 30 Days. Well, we have a 21-day program. In one to four days, really one day, Practically, we get people off all their insulin and all their other diabetic medications. And in two to three weeks, even if their blood sugar starts at 500 or 400, we're returning their blood sugars to normal, which is less than 100. Both doctors have independently proven that the vegan diet is effective in treating diabetes. Their approaches, while both using plant-based vegan diets, are at different ends of the spectrum. One mostly cooked, and the other 80% raw, and yet their results are profound. Before we go further into the details of this healthy diet, let's learn more about diabetes. Diabetes is a condition, as I guess people know, where there's too much sugar in the blood, and the sugar is glucose, and it's, it's there normally to go into the cells to provide energy, so that if I'm gonna run a marathon, all my muscle cells are using that glucose for energy. The problem is in diabetes, is the glucose can't get into the cells. It stays in the blood. And in the blood, it can be toxic. It can hurt the eyes, the, the tiny little uh, blood vessels of the eyes or the kidneys or other parts of the body. Type 1 diabetes, we hear people talk about that. That used to be called childhood onset. And in that condition, the pancreas, which normally makes the insulin that brings the sugar into the cell, the pancreas is no longer making insulin. So the sugar can't get into the cell. Type 2 diabetes used to be called adult onset. There's still insulin there, but the cells resist its action. So it's like having a, 
a key, which is the insulin, going to a lock on the cell, and the key can't, can't open the lock. So the sugar builds up. The research shows that every indigenous culture, when white flour and white sugar are introduced, there's an outbreak of diabetes 20 years later. We have the evidence from comparisons of different countries. We've known for a long period of time when a person goes from a vegetarian type of, of culture, a plant-based kind of culture, to a meaty culture, diabetes rates go way, way up. It comes directly as a symptom of the culture of death, because diabetes is a direct reflection of living in the culture of death, which is the white flour, white sugar, cooked animal flesh, fat, saturated fat, pesticides and herbicides, the effect of mineral depletion on the soil, so our, our insulin doesn't have enough minerals to go in. Pesticides and herbicides we mentioned, but heavy metals. I always play a role. When Healthy Living returns, we'll delve deeper into the details of the vegan diet in treating type 2 diabetes. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We'll be right back after these brief messages.